TCAP, grade 7, practice test, math section, question number 33. This is the kind of question that I really like because it talks about the nature of mathematics. It's like um, one side's equal to the other. It talks about the value of truth statements. The table below shows the value of x and y. Which equation describes the relationship between the values of x and y? Now, each of the answer choices that are listed speak to the idea of the truth. This says y is equal to 2x. Now, if I can plug in values for x out of this column, and they equal the y values in this column once I manipulate them in whatever way, so in a, you'd multiply them by 2, then I have true statements. So what I'm going to do is rewrite the problem as y is equal to 2, and then I'm going to put parentheses. I'm going to plug in my values for x and see if they equal the y's that they're supposed to. So in the first one, I would plug in um, 8. So I do 2 times negative 8, and it gives me negative 16. Well, it's exactly what it's supposed to give me. So let's try the next one below it, so 2 times negative 2. Well, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, and I draw up here. It's not what it's supposed to be. So it's supposed to be negative 10. So every time I plug in x, it does not give me y. So a is not the correct answer because it doesn't make truth. And that's the whole point of math in the first place, finding truth. So for the second one, I'm going to try y is equal to 5x. But instead of 5x, I'm going to put 5 parentheses. I'm going to plug in an 8 there, or negative 8, just like an x. 5 times negative 8 is negative 40. And it should be right there. It's not. So B is also not the correct answer. So I'm going to have to go down to C and see if I can get some truth down here. Y is equal to parentheses plus 8. In my first one, it's negative 8. Negative 8 plus 8 is equal to 0. Not there. So that doesn't work. So C is not the correct answer either. Let's see if I can erase these out. And I'm going to try the last one, and I'm hopeful that it works because I want to see a truth statement here. y is equal to parentheses minus 8. When I plug in negative 8, which I got right here, uh, negative 8 minus 8, so I owed $8, I borrowed 8 more, now I owe 16 bucks. That's exactly what that statement says it should say. In the next one, negative, or parentheses, I got ahead of myself, shouldn't do that, parentheses, negative 2 minus 8. I owe $2, I borrowed 8 more, now I owe $10. That's exactly what it says. I'm going to move up here to do the next one. Uh, in this case, I'm plugging in 4 inside my parentheses. 4 minus 8 gives me negative 4. I had $4, borrowed 8, now I owe 4. Perfect. And the last one, y is equal to parentheses minus 8, and the parentheses this time would be a 10. 10 minus 8 is positive 2, which is exactly what I should get. So basically, I'm just plugging in my x's, and once they all work, I can say that d does make a true statement. Every time I plug in an x, I get the y that I expect, so that makes that answer correct.